recording yep i'm watching the the telecast uh, parallelly uh, what is happening so very exciting eighth round uh, i think uh, armenia is playing the india top team and us is playing the india b team uh, and just now it looks like india is beating uh, uh, beating us uh, black and blue so first board karwana lost karwana is number 2 player who has drawn with uh kalsan in a 12 game match for world championship okay so world championship 12 game match uh and uh, very very thorough player 2800 plus rating player and uh, gukesh is an of course an upcoming grandmaster from india from chennai and uh, first time he was playing a top 10 player world's top 10 player any time in the classical game and in this crucial game gukesh has cleaned him up completely so amazing victory gukesh is on 8 out of 8 now so all the 8 rounds he has played on the top board and won all the 8 games so uh, what can i say i mean he has reached the india's number 2 uh, in live rating so live rating when you mean i will show you what is live rating so i will uh, okay so this is let me share the screen so that you see what what i am checking i pin my video so that it is better yep so so what what happens is this this site 2700chess.com right this this actually gives you the live ratings just like live ratings are there in tennis etc right every game you play every match you play at the end of it they will enter it and they will calculate the elo rating for for so that way if you see here we are seeing uh, we are seeing uh, where is our hari krishna has moved plus 5 positions and he has gained 9 elo points in this tournament so far and he is in 2729 and our gukesh this is not this is as of yesterday this is as of yesterday gukesh was plus 20 points and he had reached 2719 i think he will be reaching somewhere like 2725 or so so he might possibly become world number 24 possibly may reach world number 20 also i don't know because how much there is a lot of rating difference you see here karwana is currently 2765 okay 2765 is already down so not that much so okay but i think three or four points um, gukesh will gain and further go up but right now gukesh is now world number uh, not world number 3 india number 3 okay hari hari is india number 2 and uh, gukesh is already ahead of vidit gujarati who has slightly had a lot of draws so he has fallen back uh, vidit was number 2 earlier now he is now number 4 but uh, this is how happens and uh, we are tracking the live uh, and uh, this is excellent site uh, not only the classical games rapid games uh, what is this ad and something sir yeah sir uh, which country is Carlson Magnus Carlson Norway Norway so i will tell you about the story of Norway okay so before that i will quickly tell you so this site gives you live ratings of classic rapid blitz and also tells about junior players uh, women junior players everything here see blitz then juniors online online they maintain a separate rating because it is different from the thing so there is a different online rating so that also did do it you can get top 100 or you can put a country and you can get all the players with that for example india if you put it uh why it is not working i think it is should come to india all india players should come so anyway so you got the thing so what okay now talking about uh, who are the top teams uh, what happened in the olympiad so olympiad uh, this time russia is not playing uh, not because they don't want to play but because i think because of um, the war because of the war i think the rest of the countries especially the western europe and us they are not allowing russia to play so russia that is why it is not playing china is not playing china is also a very strong country i think uh, last two three times we say one or two times they have won the olympiad also once at least they have won the olympiad so uh, china is not playing because of their zero covid policy because still covid is going around and they have that whatever some zero covid policy they have even one case is there in a city then they will block the entire city etc so they don't want their players to go out and mix with so many other countries players that will happen right 187 okay 
countries may not be 187, but at least 100 and uh, maybe 30, 40 countries are, are there in Chennai right now. In Chennai, when I say Chennai, actually the Olympiad is happening in Mahabalipuram, uh, not exactly Chennai. Mahabalipuram is a world heritage uh, site. Uh, there are the Shore Temple, Pallava Shore Temple, very famous. There are some more temples inland. Then there is all that uh, Pandava, Ratha, Ganesh, Rath. So many rock uh, paintings and uh, not, not paintings, uh, sculpture. So it's a very beautiful uh, city and slightly away, 50 kilometers away from south of Chennai. So that is where the uh, tournament is happening. And about 130, 140 different countries players are there. So uh, what? Uh, so how? let me tell you a bit about the setup. So, so there are two sections. Of course, there is an open section where anybody, men as well as women can play. And earlier, like strong women grandmasters like uh, uh, Judith Polgar or uh, you, how, how, who you found from China, they used to play in the open section. They said that, okay, I'm not going to play in the women's section. I'm going to play directly in the men's section. Men's means it is open section. Anybody can play. But then the other section is the women's section where only women can participate. So that is the main, uh, this one, uh, classification of the two. What happens is in each team, uh, there you are allowed to have six players, but in a match only four of them will play. That is why there are four boards. So if India is playing US, there is a board one, board two, board three, board four. Okay. Other two players are in reserve because not everybody can play 11 rounds. Somebody can fall sick. Somebody is not in a good shape because he may have lost two games. He's not or whatever, just as you say in injuries, etc. There are maybe mental injuries in chess. So that is why you have six players in a match. Uh, sorry, not in a match, in a team, but you are allowed to play only four of them. And that is what happens. So every every match is a four game uh, phenomenon. And then it can be like, if it is equal, then it can be two, two, uh, right? Uh, or it can be two and a half, one and a half, or it can be three, one, or it can be three and a half, half, or it can be four nil. So that way it can happen. So uh, that is the setup. And then there are at the venue, uh, first thing is that I must say that uh, the entire organization of the Olympiad, India was not scheduled to host this. Uh, Russia was scheduled to host this. Now, there was a big problem because of the war. Uh, not only was Russia not allowed to play, but Russia was not also allowed to host. So suddenly, uh, and if you recall last two, three years, there has been due to COVID, there has not been any formal Olympiad. There have been online Olympiads last two years. 2020, I think there was nothing. To the, anyway, the chess Olympiad happens to, uh, once in two years. So two 20, 2020, it was supposed to happen, uh, but it did not happen, got cancelled. Uh, oh no, I think they had an online Olympiad. Yeah, online Olympiad they had, which is different, which is not the same as this. And India and Russia together won it in the men's section. Amazing. I had watched it online. Then last year, also there was an online Olympiad because of uh, COVID situation. Uh, again, uh, so the format was slightly different in online and India had a hard one uh, semi-final loss against US. I really remember that. Anand was also playing and uh, and he had taken a rest against US, I think, because he lost one game against Iran in the quarterfinals. But India managed to defeat Iran. But in the semi-finals, it was like two days, two matches you have to play. First match, first day India won. So it is like next day, even if you draw it, India would have gone to the finals. But US came back and defeated India in the second uh, day's match last year. And then there was a tie break. And then tie break, I was watching it. I remember it was all like rapid games, 15 minute games. So Anand was there and uh, who was there? I think Vidit was there and everybody was actually in a plus position. But it as it happens, Anand had some blunder and with it slowly, get, uh, suddenly it came like instead of 3-1, it became 1-3 and uh, US won on tie breaks. So that was a hard one last year. And so India was kept with the number three position last year. I think they won bronze or they tied for number four position, whatever, third or fourth. Uh, so it was Russia and US, I think, at the top. So that is what happened last year. So this is a good revenge match for India because uh, two, which are the top teams currently uh, in the Olympiad in the men's section? Men's section, it is US is seeded number one. Uh, you must see that US has got all the great players, but mostly all of them are have immigrated to the US from other. So almost the entire team of US. That is how it is. Wesley So, he was a Philippine player. He has moved to US and settled there and become a citizen. Uh, Levon Aranian, Armenian player, Armenian number one. Very last year only he moved to US. 
because of war and something some other things and he was not getting so he is now on the thing then there is caruana he is a player from italy caruana was with an italian player till maybe about 5 6 7 8 years back so 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 it uh, he has come and ikaru nakamura is a player of japanese descent so he is also represented then there are only sam shankland and i think samuel sevian these are the only two uh, players number 5 and 6 or so they might be the this one lenial domingues cuban player cuba uh, cuba or cuba as you'll call it he has immigrated to us and now he is playing for us so you can say that us is like a complete uh, what you call we used to call it as rental players like qatar and saudi and all they have these rental football players so like that uh, us team is effectively like that but in any case it's a very strong team it was seeded number 1 india was seeded number 2 so the fight was between them but what we have seen is that uzbekistan has performed very well till now and armenia has performed very well so armenia was leading bef- uh, as of yesterday or today morning Ar- armenia was leading and then there were many countries including uzbekistan uh, us india one india uh, india two and uh, germany and somebody else i think all of them were just one point behind i think so that was the case and so it was exciting games today so today i think uh, uh, let us see i think india is defeating us in the match today in the second match i need to see what is the score on the women side indian top team the india a team in the women side uh, see india normally ho- host gets uh, to put two teams okay normally every country puts only one team in the men's one team in the women's the host country gets to put two teams this time india has got the option to put three teams why because there are some countries have pulled out like russia is not there china is not there some other countries ukraine also i know ukraine i, I met also i think uh, the ukraine uh, i saw the players from very close range anton karabov and this one so uh, ukraine uh, is playing but so many some other countries are not coming so they said that okay why don't and india is a super talent of chess right i mean uh, after russia i think the number two country currently in terms of uh, grand masters probably and thing is india or probably very close to germany and overtaking germany very soon so any every country considers india as the number two chess country maybe china also so russia china india and maybe germany these are the things and us you can say of course because us so many players immigrate to us and they become us citizens so that is what is the chess scene our team uh, our number one team in the women's is leading Uh, the uh, women section completely means seven matches played seven matches won so 14 points out of 14 there the other two teams are also good they are placed like number 9 points and number uh, total point 11 so they are fairly placed so they are good uh, so it is uh, that is about the teams and how this happens so it's a 11 round swiss tournament okay just like individual player swiss is there similarly teams also swiss is there so who are, who are equal points are there they will play against each other that is what is the nature of the swiss right so uh, so that is how the thing at the bottom rung the things are uh, there are teams like who have come as for representation i also some of them i can tell you that some of the strong players that we have in like level 4 and level 5 uh, you would easily be able to play in the team not e- the two three not easily but with some uh, some this maybe i i can say maybe srushti maybe ansh maybe i don't know maybe aro we are out to see uh, and uh, maybe somebody else in the level 4 abhinav abhinav yes abhinav is no longer playing right i mean not in the team but yes he was a strong player uh, and yes so some of you i mean i'm saying uh, you could <laughs> you could well be the team of some of those countries like uh, some guam and some malta and uh, saint kitts and some barbuda antigua and barbuda and some you could you could easily represent uh, them not easily but with tough uh, this one i think with the uh, practice you could so that is that's how it happens because the small countries the chess scene will be like that but uh, what i'm saying is that uh, it is uh, a chess olympiad is a great uh, option so they also get to come and play just like uh, get to participate right so uh, i think we have about uh, in the men section in the olympiad there are about uh, there are about 100 teams participating 100 odd and in the women section about uh, 80 85 teams are participating maybe 110 in the men's and maybe 75 in the women's something like that is the current 
seen in the Olympiad, this Olympiad. Okay. Uh, organization has been absolutely fantastic. As I was saying, India uh, got a chance to, got just four months back. Nobody even knew that uh, India would think. And then uh, both the state government uh, uh, of Tamil Nadu has done a fabulous job. And the central government of India, they have also supported it, whether it is funding, whether it is just funding is not enough. You have to get, give great organizing talent and you have to get it. Every arrangement is world-class. There is no commotion, there is no confusion. Everything is systematic. All players, players needs, arbiters needs, media needs, everything is in place. There is no confusion anywhere. So I was really amazed of world-class organization. Uh, nothing to even point out. I think, uh, in fact, many of the top players were saying that they have seen the Olympiads in their life. Some of them have played 10 Olympiads, 12 Olympiads, etc. Like 20, 25. They are, they are also saying that this is the best, uh, I mean, most well-organized chess Olympiad they have seen. So, and, and I was seeing it before going uh, to Mahabalipuram, but after going there and actually seeing it for three days, I'm fully convinced that it is uh, the accommodation, the logistics, the way to get, the parking areas or the gates, security, and then inside when you come, the arrangements. See, uh, chess, chess is a very serious stuff. You can't have noise, right? Just as, and imagine the 180 matches are going on and then how to maintain silence. So what the procedure there is that to enter the viewing arena, which is, the, which is next to the players, the players are there in a barricaded area. Just outside, you can go and watch it. There are tickets and to be bought. But the condition is this. First of all, they will frisk. There is a locker box. So they will take, you have to deposit everything that you wear, like mobile phone, tablet, or smart watch, some wearable, anything that can make a noise or otherwise watch. Everything you have to deposit. You can't take it inside because anything can ring, anything can come, this, etc. Even if you don't want it, it can happen. Plus people can take snap. Nobody is allowed to take any, any photo inside the playing arena. So only the accredited journalists, that means those who have a journalist pass or photographer pass, media pass, only they can go with their cameras and they all, nobody can go with the phone. Absolutely. No players can also go. No players, no referees, no, nobody can go with the phone. And if a phone is found, then you are sent home immediately. First of all, they check, there is a metal detector, they check everything and the rules are very clear. So, so that is, uh, that is how it is. And, but you can watch it from very close, very close. Like it is like, only thing is that there is a barricade. So you can't cross it. Obvious that is good reason, but you can see that the players are just sitting across the barricade. So of course, not every, every match you can play like that, but those who are at the edge of the barricade, you can see them. So the other day when I had gone on Wednesday, Around six it was. So I was watching. So Magnus Carlsen, I could watch it like from three meters distance. And I watched uh, a lot. And Okay, so somebody was asking, what is the state of Magnus Carlsen? And he's representing Norway. He's a very strong, he's the, obviously the strongest player. But Norway's seeding is much lesser because the other players are not so strong. Aryan Tari is a number two player. He's a 26-50 player. So pretty strong. Uh, and then there is another John Ludwig Hammer and some other Christiansen and some other players are there. Now, what happened is that uh, Carlson is in an extremely bad mood currently. Extremely bad mood. Uh, people are like afraid of going in front of him currently uh, in uh, Mahabalipuram. Because uh, what is happening is that he is winning his games, but his team is losing. First, I think in round five, they lost to or round four, they lost to Italy. Italy is not at all a strong team. Like some uh, okay team. So... They lost to Italy. Then I think they drew some game. And then I was there on Wednesday. So they lost to Australia. Again, Australia is not a strong team at all. But Magnus Carlsen won. The next two uh, boards they lost. And the last board drew. So even there, we could see that he was absolutely angry on his team. He was saying that, what are you guys doing? You are taking me down to the second hall. So the arrangement I was saying, right? The top half is there. They play in the main premium uh, four point. This whole thing is happening at Four Points uh, Hotel by Sheraton in Mahabalipuram. So they have a very big, in fact, all their banquet halls, they have combined it to create a very big playing arena. So that is where the top half plays, right? The top half. So all the top teams uh, on the top boards play there. And then there is, they have constructed a temporary outside, uh, very big. It is like a 
like conference arena right you have very large it's fully air conditioned no problem everything is there wood lighting everything is there but it's not temporary structure so that they have put up for the bottom half and uh, carlson was furious because after the loss on tuesday uh, when the, the match happened uh, wednesday night no wednesday is the when we visited thursday was a rest day friday yesterday they were having and he was relegated norway he means norway team was relegated to the second half so they had to go to the temporary structure there and play and he carlson i mean i was pretty sure that he is not going to play only yesterday he is saying i am going to take rest you guys pull yourself up if you come to the top half then i will play otherwise you do whatever you want i think that is what i was thinking but i was surprised that he played actually in the second half and uh, he so there is a referee i mean arbiter it is called in chess terms there is a called as arbiter so because in case there something happens dispute happens or something happens etc you need to have a uh, like umpire right i mean similarly so there is one arbiter assigned for each match so he looks after the four boards like india is playing america so there will be one arbiter uh, and then every seven such matches there is a senior arbiter so because he uh, and then above that there is a what a full arbiter is there i mean the entire not not full after seven then it is at a 28 team level there is even senior arbiter and then finally there is a overall uh, arbiter so the senior arbiter which is overlooking those seven other arbiters uh, for the second half uh, he is a friend of mine in fact uh, we were together on the, in mahabalipuram in the hotel uh, where we stayed so uh, we were telling him that oh you may be having kalsan under you tomorrow and it so happened that yesterday kalsan played under uh, i mean under his supervision you can say because he was the referee so i am getting some very uh, first class photographs i am going to get it from him today uh, again he did not click he cannot click it but the media that is there they are allowed to click it so he has got lot of close photos from yesterday's match where he was arbitrating i'm going to get it so i will some of them i will share it so okay just now i hear that uh, raunak has also defeated linear dominguez of us so i think it is two wins and two draws so that means 3-1 india has defeated us 3-1 i think looks like amazing victory so uh, yep okay i was talking a lot and thing so i am going to open up for questions anything you want to ask i mean uh, this has been a moment of my life uh, visiting the olympiads i am extremely delighted and happy but uh, go ahead and ask if you have any questions sir where to see the one olympiad live live oh it is available at least six channels on youtube are showing it live okay if you go to youtube can you see the screen Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you see the screen? Yeah. I shared the screen. So just look yes, for. Yes, so there is Chess Base India. Olympiad live. Search for it. There are. See, there is Chess Twenty Four. They are commentating. Uh, then there is Chess Base India. This is here. Chess Base India also is commentating in Hindi. Also, it is available. Then Fide. Fide is the international organization of chess. They are having. commentary i'm just talking about english in english i mean english or hindi if you see hindi there is one from chess base india english there is chess base india there is fide chess there is chess 24 then there is uh, one more thing uh, so many of them are there and uh, it tamil commentary is also available i'm sure other languages is also available and you can just check it i mean just watch for it generally chess base india will cover india matches okay so india matches if you can do hindi chess base india or just chess base india to go there their channel they are all like okay i'll show you under my subscriptions so what happened i'm not logged in maybe i'm not logged in that's why okay Just give me a moment where did it go just now that uh, hmm? login prompt came and 
sorry something happened i don't know galaxy resend it okay resend it yes okay sorry logged in and now if you go to youtube yep so you see here chess base uh, here chess base chess 24 then uh, chess base hindi so anyway i suggest that you you choose chess base india for all india matches and if you want to see all coverage across all nations then chess 24 is there there is chess.com there is fide chess just choose it and watch it everybody is commenting live okay all right any other question Anyone has any other question? No? You can even type your question if you have any. See, uh, it is also available on Chesspace uh, site also it is available live. So that is that. Okay, what else you want me to tell? I mean, I... Uh, so the arrangement is uh, that so 3 p.m. is every round start. So 2:30 p.m. onwards, people uh, chess players start coming in. So we were there at the entrance where the chess players enter, and that is where I have shot some of the uh, videos and pictures I have taken. So we saw, I, I mean, at least uh, 50 grandmasters that I know of, and uh, we follow their games, or we thought, uh, I could see them in the uh, what do you call? It? I could see them in the. Uh, coming in and I have taken snaps like uh, Karuana, Slow, Wesley So, uh, Levan Aronian, they just walked in front of me. I have taken snaps. Uh, both of them were wearing green t-shirt that day. I posted the video. I don't know how many of you have seen it, uh, but it is there. Uh, so many, Nisi Piano, Van Veli, uh, Indian team, Vidit Gujarati, uh, Hari Krishna, Arjun Erigesi, so many of the Indian players, Ronak Sadwani, uh, and plus so many other players who are from the past also, or who are trainers, coaches, that also I've taken. So I had a very, very good time. And uh, and then watching all the games, uh, of course, there is no sitting available there, especially in the premium hall, where the top half is there. You have to just stand and watch, and you have to move around, but without making any noise quietly. And, but amazing i mean so many top players watching them from so close you don't get that chance right i mean there are tournaments and you can go but there will be some 10 players 12 players etc here like 4000 chess players are there and you can watch amazing experience absolutely worth it i have taken three days off from office and i think it was worth it though it will be a lot of work for me now back but uh, yeah so then uh, what uh, anish giri mickey adams david howell everybody i mean you name it i mean all the players you could watch them and i had the uh, had the opportunity to watch them on wednesday in that round everybody everybody and very very close uh, so very very thoroughly enjoyed it i think it is a thing uh, school kids are having special Thing they are every school kid for free. Those who come to the venue, of course, with their school dress and whatever, with their teacher, etc., they are coming and they are getting a half an hour entry into the playing arena free. They don't have to take any ticket. So uh, I don't know. You guys cannot go there and it is far away. But those who are there or those who can go there, even like there are three more rounds left. Today is the eighth round. Tomorrow, day after tomorrow, and then uh, I think after. If at all anybody can go there, I would say that. Please uh, go and take the opportunity. It's an amazing thing. There is also an uh, exhibition area. There's a nice food court. There are a lot of chess theme events happen. Some other tournaments happen. Some There are some cultural events. Uh, I mean, it is everything is amazing. So, But especially I'm saying school kids, they are allowed free entry for 30 minutes. So, yep. Yeah, any questions? Sarjishian, Hari Krishna, Aftar, Chakan, Arjun, Erigesi, Draw. There are all the matches that is going on here currently. David Nawara. 
Mickey Adams defeated Darada. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, if you feel free, otherwise I'm. Uh, we are about to close in about four minutes, so I'll set up the tournament uh, for you to go and practice. There is no other class today. Uh, like we had this session already for everybody. Uh, by the way, uh, who is that? Pratik Pratham. I met uh, Sagar Sakolrekar, uh, and uh, we had breakfast together two days, or maybe one day breakfast. In, you know, you know him, right? Or your parents. Yes, yes. So he was asking about you, and I said yes, yes. He said he has uh, told them about me. So I said they are very good students. They are very this. So he was also happy. Uh, so Sagar Sakolrekar, as well as the Goa Chess Association team, Mr. Yeah. Zambawlikar and someone else, etc. I met them on the breakfast on Wednesday. And then probably dinner also, I think, or yesterday again for breakfast I met them. But uh, yeah, I mean I know them also very well, and it was good to good to see Mr. Sagar. I think he's uh, vice president or secretary of the Goa Chess Association, I believe, right? I think so. So yeah, it was good. Then I met a Mumbai Chess. Yeah, it's vice president. Vice president, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I met uh, all the officials of the Maharashtra Chess Association. Because I had gone with a couple of friends uh, who were ex-members of the or executives of the Maharashtra Chess Association. So with that, I met many of the things. I met, I think, uh, probably a dozen grandmasters. And the height of the or the peak of the thing was the meeting with Vishwanathan Anand. That was that was day before yesterday. Today is Saturday, so on Thursday there was a free day. So we worked really hard and we could catch up five minutes with Anand. He was staying at the Leela Hotel, uh, Leela Palace Hotel in Chennai. So we drove from Mahabalipuram through the Chennai traffic. We reached Chennai, we waited for him and we got a chance so we could speak to him. So my other friends that were there with me, both of them have played with him. Uh, but I think one, you sent a photo. I have sent, right? Yeah, 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 correct, correct. So both those, my other friends, they have played with Anand uh, in tournaments. So, and one of them has also met him in Norway uh, and yeah, it was amazing five minutes and Anand is a true gentleman. I don't think Carlson will ever give that kind of a thing, but Anand is a very excellent gentleman. I had met, this is my second meeting with Anand. He had come to <clears throat> my office. We had invited him and he had come, he had given a talk, he had talked, he had played a simultaneous. My, I did not play, but my friend, very close friend had played, uh, I think four or six boards simultaneous it was. And then I have a photo with him from uh, that also, but that was about 10 or 11 years back. And uh, he, he was world champion already. He had defeated just uh, Gelfand that time in 2010. And then sometime in 2011, we had invited him. So good. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And amazing. So, yeah. Yeah. So if there are no other questions, we are about to end in one and a half minute. And I will set up the arena and send it. You can have the combined. Uh, let me set up the arena right away. Anish Giri is uh, there uh, with Sagar Shah. By the way, I also got interviewed by Samai Raina and uh, Amruta Mukal, wife of Sagar Shah. Uh, if you see the, there is a small clip in which they have clipped it and we did not want our, uh, this one to come, but, uh, anyway, there is a, there are two or three seconds. You can see me in the thing on the recording on, uh, Wednesday's round. If you see the recording at two hours and 49 minutes to two hours and 50 or 51 minutes, you will find me and my friend blue t-shirt we are wearing and they are just covering it. They also asked us about our thing, but yeah, I think it is there. So. So we talked to Samai Raina also. So, yep. So I think that is that. I think we are about to end, right? How much? Less than one minute. So, okay. So I will end it. I will create the arena and send it. So enjoy the arena and good luck and see you. Okay. Bye, sir. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Bye.